And welcome to Let's Fly VFR. Today we're going to do some tailwheel crashing because I wouldn't call it flying. And I uh, hope everybody's had a great start to 2019. Here we are with the Stinson L5 Sentinel. World War II vintage this one. Uh, and probably the first tailwheel I've flown. And we're at Matchmill Fisheries by Prop Strike Studios. This is a free bit of scenery as well if you like a bit of Canadian scenery, guys. Really, really good. So, what's the uh, the deal here? We're going to try and learn to take off and land. Now, this is theory, okay? Have a quick read through, pause if you like. And uh, we're going to try and get this right because it is really, really challenging. So, the whole idea here is get going, try and keep straight with your rudders. Um, that, that in itself is hard enough. Hold the stick back while you're accelerating. And then when you think you've, you're starting to get close enough to a bit of speed, push your stick forward, which is a bit unusual. Don't worry, your nose won't fly into the ground, but what it does is get your tail off. And if you leave it in that initial position, as it is, you see it there now, it will fly off early, probably before the aircraft is ready, and you just tend to wallow around in the ground effect. So by pushing the stick forward and holding it down, you actually accelerate more, and then when you do decide that you're ready to go, just just neutral stick will have the aircraft in the air. So let's get going. We're trying to balance, dance around on these rudders a little bit to get going. Try and keep it straight. This is really beautiful scenery as well, guys, if you haven't seen it. Get out and have a look. There's uh, three releases at the moment of uh, Prop Strike Studios, so they've got some beautiful scenery. Go have a look, check it out. And so this one's a freebie, which is really nice. So we're going to get out over here. Now we're going to fly a pattern. Now the whole idea of this is this is the first time pretty much I've done this. I've had a couple of little flights, but really just trying to create this video. So we're going to fly around. Now we're going to try and do two wheel landings and three wheel landings. So two wheel landings, the whole point is that you stay uh, basically horizontal, you stay flat. You don't take that three point landing attitude. And there's reasons for landing either way. Um, I'm very new at, at, at this doing this. And I've never flown any tailwheel aircraft for real. I've only ever done trials. So this is difficult. If it's this hard, you're going to need some practice before you jump into a tailwheel aircraft by yourself, I think. So, put the strip round on the left. Some beautiful scenery around us. And uh, we're just going to turn in left. We're going to keep the speed down a little bit, not to get too quick. This thing does balloon when you hit the, uh, the flaps. You have two stages of flaps. There's not a lot of room in the circuit, so I tend to cut short and come in to it. So let's just jump into here. And we'll see how we go. The biggest thing is just keeping it straight on the rudders. I'm all over the place. I have, I'll be honest with you, I've had a few crashes, so um, if you haven't done this before, get out and have a go, because it's a hell of a lot of fun. So we're coming in on the main runway here, which is just a dirt road, and we're going to try and keep ourselves straight. Okay, this is an attempt at a two-wheel landing, So, and you keep try and keep your back wheel off the ground, which I didn't do so well, and then I get to wallow around a bit, so it's... What's really unnatural is when you're landing, pushing your nose forward, because on a tricycle aircraft, which I'm used to actually flying, um, you wouldn't do that because you're worried about breaking the nose, uh, the nose wheel steering. So we'll give it another go and uh, and see how we go the next time round. It's really well detailed, this Stinson. It's, it's beautiful. I haven't really looked at it in the past, and uh, to my detriment, I think, so let's get ready. We'll we'll try and take off again without uh, without hurting ourselves. And the, isn't the lighting beautiful? The lighting's just excellent on it. Don't forget to subscribe if you happen to be new here and you haven't been to Let's Fly VFR before. Feel free to yeah hit that subscribe button, hit the the bell icon, and I try and have videos out uh, midweek Wednesdays and uh, on Saturday or Sunday. I try and get one out as well for you. So be something fun to watch hopefully we're not crashing too much so here we go we're doing really well keeping it straight here just drifting a little bit by it 
put the nose down. This is a lot better. I've got it. Put the nose down. We're maintaining our attitude. We're getting enough speed. We've got plenty of room. And then just neutralizing the stick. And that's why I've left the stick in view. So you can see what I'm doing. And, uh, and we've come out pretty well on this one. So we'll climb up and we'll go around the circuit. And then we'll come in and try and get another landing. Uh, that was probably my best takeoff, I think, today. It was fairly smooth, fairly straight, so we can uh, give it another go. And the scenery is beautiful. I've done a couple of previous flights. Um, I did a low-level one down uh, back to the nearest um, town, which is about 30 miles away, which was a lot of fun too. That was in the... Uh, what did I do that in? That was in my Robins. I like the Robins. And you can, uh, it'd be really good fun if you could follow this front seat, back seat. Um, but this is the view from the back seat. And this is great. You can see all the cabling moving. You can see the sticks moving. Got all the shadows and everything there. So let's get back in. Get ourselves lined up. We're basically where the numbers should be if we had an actual runway. And uh, we'll turn left and we'll come around here. Just ballooning a bit there with the deployment of the, the flaps. It, uh, settle, get some trim in it, and uh, maintain that speed. You don't want to be going too quick, but you want to keep enough speed up. So let's turn a left onto base, and we will continue to descend with that beautiful sun reflecting off the uh, the water there. Turning onto final, so another two wheel landing attempt. And we'll see how this one goes. So we're lined up fairly early. So the idea here is trying to remain flat. Keep the aircraft just flat and just let it bleed off. You do tend to travel a little bit longer. It's a bit hard to land on the numbers, it would seem, doing it this way. But that's doing all right. So I've got down. Just stick forward a little, holding it up. And, and holding on the rudders. Oh, no. And this doesn't end so well, does it? But I'm in the grass, I didn't hit any trees, so anything you walk away from is a good one. So that was another two-wheel landing, so we made that reasonably okay. Now let's have a go at a three-wheel landing. So with that one, we're going to try and hold the attitude as you see it there on the ground. Okay, so it's going to be nose high. And essentially, you try and land on the tail wheel. That's the theory. I've been watching a few... Um, real world CFIs to get a bit of an idea of how to do it as good <laughs> as well as possible and uh, so here we go again we're coming around for a, an attempt at a three wheel landing so the nose should remain high the stick should remain back and then further back as we slow down and uh, and then hopefully it stays fairly straight we don't hit any trees so come in on final Enjoying the scenery on the way in. And the reflections on the glass, isn't that good? Get it nice and straight. And these are pretty quick too. You know, 190 horsepower in you know, a little aeroplane like this is going to get you around the circuit pretty quick. So let's get lined up and heading in. So keeping it straight. I'm not having to do too much on the rudders as yet. But it does want to try and uh, overtake itself once you get on the ground often. So I'm holding it level. Now I'm just bringing the nose back, holding that attitude. A little bounce there. That's not the best. We should be able to just hold on to it there. But we're getting that little tail slap happening again. But we've ended up still on the runway. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that one. So that's a three-pointer. I think you're going to see some more videos. We're going to be doing some more of these, that's for sure. So here's a view of Matchmill Fisheries as we go around. So again, if you're new to the channel, like what you see, please feel free to hit that subscribe. If you're uh, in need of anything, come and visit letsflyvfr.com as well and have a bit of a look around there. So until next time in the next video, I'll catch you guys back here at Let's Fly VFR. Bye-bye.